feeders getting busted. It's all part of a new crackdown in residential areas of Wayne County. Thank you for staying with us at 530. I'm Glenda Lewis. On the streets of Harper Woods, police are asking for help to put a stop to dangerous driving. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chaquet is riding along with deputies tonight. Harper Woods police say speeding has become such a problem here in residential areas. They've needed to put out a call for more help, more resources, and that call is now being answered by the Wayne County Sheriff. On the streets of Harper Woods, a new operation is targeting a dangerous problem, placing safety of families at risk. How big of a concern is speeding in residential areas? Well, that's a great big concern because we got small children playing. Reggie Rounds says nothing is more important than keeping his three-year-old grandson protected. Wayne County Sheriff Raphael Washington agrees and is now providing assistance to help police crack down. We're working together. We're collaborating together. There's other agencies that's going to help Harper Woods get this done so that the uh, citizens can feel safe. Sheriff Washington was kind enough to offer his resources to help us combat this. Deputies invited us to ride with them as they patrol residential streets like Beaconsfield, Kenosha, Old Homestead, Huntington, Damon, Woodland, Woodcrest, Woodside, Fleetwood, and Vernier. It never fails. You, you're doing 25, then someone will come up right behind you and be on your bumpers and expecting you to move faster. No. no. Reckless driving and speeding can lead to ticketing and other action. But for citizens, it's simply about saving lives and ensuring there's a visible deterrent after countless complaints that have come in. You speed and you don't have time to react in time. You know, you don't look cool. You look silly. The sheriff says he'll continue supporting partnerships like this to ensure citizens get the highest level of public safety. From Harper Woods, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.